Guys, I'm not going to spoil it, but medic, you know, me and medic talked a little bit. You know, my first, this is my first IRL police cruiser, guys. And we're driving this tonight. I took this picture November 28th of 2017. It's a 14 Dodge Charger. And this is what we are running tonight on stream. This is my first ever police car at uh, South Charleston. We are going to push this car tonight. It's the 14 Dodge Charger that Medic. Guys, if Medic, if you're in the chat, baby, uh, I appreciate you, man, for all the all the awesome builds that you give us, man. You guys have been amazing, man. All right, guys. How fast was that truck going, guys? That's copy. Traffic stop, postal 7282-1953. Would you care to start me a 32, please, if we have one? How, guys, how fast were they going? 112? I, okay, 112 is right. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's it going, officer? Good. Hey, brother, listen, you got to slow down, man. You're, I don't know, do you know the speed limit going down the interstate? Yeah, I knew the speed limit, but this truck runs so good, I just got to let it get a little out of control. Okay. Um, is it your truck, sir? The plates are not coming back to your truck. Are you aware of that? I just, I just bought it. Okay. Uh, do you have your driver's license on you? Yes, sir. Okay, just uh, slide it over to use, please. Hold on, who, who, who's in a car with you? That's my cousin. What's his name? Doggy. To the unit that just pulled up here, will you, uh, do you mind to step up here and get the passenger's ID for me? All right, Mr. Um, Mike, um, do you have the insurance registration for your new truck? Man, I need to check that registration just to make sure because it's not coming back in our system. I haven't had a chance up to go up and get it yet, man. I just bought it about 35 minutes ago, and me and my cousin were just getting ready to go up to the lake. Where did you uh, Where did you buy it? Did you buy it in the county? Yeah. Um, it, you get your insurance and stuff up there at the county. Okay. Will okay. Do. I'll go up and get it. Yeah. So you just decided to like do like one thirty with it, you know, with no insurance or nothing crazy. You know how it is to buy a new <laughs> fast vehicle. All right. Well, stand by, but you don't have insurance either, correct? I don't got nothing. I'm okay. Just got my license. We're gonna talk to your cousin. Get right back with you. Kilo okay. one dispatch. Okay. Kilo one, go ahead. Will you run Mike Cocklong? Um, M I K E. The last name is C-O-K-L-O-N-G. Hey, brother. Hey, look, I ain't taking no hard time, man. Okay, well, I mean, why do you say that for? It's random. Look. What? I, I have something in the vehicle. You have something in the vehicle? No, I don't have nothing. He might. Oh, what is what is something? I ain't gonna say. I ain't no stench. But this guy named Corey T. He stopped down at his place and got all kinds of stuff in the big vehicle. Corey T said he's trying to like, start good, like, trying to be good. Go ahead. So he threw uh, a bunch of stuff at this guy and told him I'm to take it all. Corey T started doing uh, tattoos and line. stuff. He's an amateur tattoo artist. Ten four. Corey, I know who Corey T is. Corey T's a turd. What's oh, your name? Man, he's, a, he's an amateur tattoo artist. So you saying he's got something illegal inside the vehicle? I ain't saying nothing like that. What are you saying? You said he's got something in the vehicle. You act like you want to tell us. What does what does that mean? I ain't saying nothing. Is there? Do you have anything illegal on you? Oh man, I ain't got nothing on me. I just got down there and got some ink. Corey T gave me fresh ink. You're there. letting Corey T give you a tattoo? Yeah, he's been tattooing animals, man. He had to start out on animals, and I was like, heck, I'll see if you do good and look at him. And it tattooed me all to pieces. Dispatch. It's C O X L O N G. C O X L O N G. Okay. Yeah, just stand by. He said, he "Did he tell you something inside the vehicle?" Driver's license. Yeah, yo, he did. Okay. Uh, no priors. Negative he won't give me his ID though. He says his name is ten four. Will you? Uh, okay, got gotcha. you. Give me one second. Will you uh, see if we got a K nine available for a vehicle search, please? Uh, from uh, break any available. Yeah, do you mind just handing over the physical copy for me? Yeah. Hopefully, I got. Uh, good timing. I'm gonna uh, edit a more video. Uh, get K9. Copy 220. You're on duty. K9 at 1957. Sorry. Uh, Kilo one's gonna need backup at 7282. We'll get a dog, guys. Since he said that, we'll kind of go from there. Thank you, sir. Hey, Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike. Yeah. Go ahead. Listen, brother. Um, anything illegal inside the car? No, man. I just bought it. Okay. Um, we're going to get a dog to come up here and walk around your car, so just stay in the car for the time being. Or I'm going to get you some paperwork going, and uh, we're going to uh, run the dog around your car, okay? All right. Sounds good, officer. All right, brother. 
Would you want to consent to a search, or do you, you want you rather get the dog? Dog. Why'd he hesitate? Why'd he hesitate like that? Was that like legit hesitant? I truly think this guy's got something in the car. He's been super hesitant. Did you hear the delay in his voice? Dog. Dog. He's sus, bro. They got a dog. We got a dog out here. Kilo one dispatch. Kilo one, go ahead. Show us uh, 10 6. We're going to uh, let the dog do a vehicle search here. Copy. Kilo one busy. K9 search 2000. Brother, I didn't get you out of the car yet, so just go ahead and stay in the car. And we're going to run the dog around your car, so don't get out, okay? Okay. Hey. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, it alerted. The dog alerted? The dog alerted. Yes, sir. Okay, grab the dog out of there real quick. We'll pull the driver out. So, guys, the dog, as you've seen, sit, sit on the car. The dog did alert to the odor of narcotics, so uh, we're going to pull him out. Hey, brother. Yeah? Hey, listen. Um, I think you're lying. The, the dog just alerted on your car, so... He's running, he's running. This guy's loaded. Uh, vehicle pursuit, vehicle pursuit. That heat unit wants to take it, I'll call the pursuit. Kilo 1 dispatch, we're uh, heading uh, northbound on Route 13, 7287, 7287, and it's a lime green pickup truck. God, it's way to start it out, guys! Dispatch speeds are a about 150 miles an hour, 5024, 5024, northbound, uh, approaching the county. Uh, see if he takes the county exit, guys. Did not take the county exit out of the units, approaching the U-Tool, northbound, uh, speeds are 100 miles an hour. Kilo one other units, just be advised, the dog did uh, indicate on this vehicle, so it's probably got a bunch of narcotics inside of it. He slowed down to about 90 miles an hour. Dispatch, you have any uh, deputies on the channel? We can try to get spikes. Enter in Polito now. Stand by, I'm only uh, showing. He's got the horn laid on that thing. Dispatch, he's back. He's doing circles here. Stand by. Dispatch, he's crashed it. We got one on foot, one on foot. Copy, so pursuit Put your hands up, bro. Put your hands up. Listen. Take him in the handcuffs, brother. Put your hands up. Kilo one dispatch, we got one detained. One detained. Yeah, Star Sadot, I'd advise this truck flipped over top the guardrail. And uh, we're going to need them to try to come tow this vehicle. I didn't know it was in there. He got I stuff on him. He's got I didn't know it was in there. He's got 25 grams of crags. Oh, my gosh. Bags, 50 bags of... If you want, throw it in the back know. of my car. Yeah, you just said you bought the truck. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah I didn't know my cousin had it in there. Brother, just throw what he's got on his person in the back of my car. And uh, I got stayed out. Yeah. They're going to tow the truck there. I got the... Uh, yeah! You talk about a way to come back to the city. The, um, cocaine, the crack, and his rifle off of him. He had a he's rifle on him. Yeah, he's got some other paraphernalia on him. Wasn't mine. You had it on you. What do you mean it ain't yours? You just don't walk oh, around with a rifle on you. Kilo one dispatch. Take it, Captain. Kilo yes, sir. Oh, I'm in route to the station with that man. Because I was about to give him a one-two combo. Kilo one What's a one-two combo? One get out, and we'll find out. You trying to get swelled up? Pull over. Don't try me, brother. I'm being serious with you. I'll hit you so hard that the cops have to start a GoFundMe for you. <laughs> what do you mean a GoFundMe? For like get medical bills? Up our to get up. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to be honest with you, officer. Be honest. That wasn't really my cousin. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't believe, I didn't believe that it was. Well, I think you should stop down here and get him, too, because... What's he? You have something on him? He does got some stuff on him. Where did, where did you get it at? I can't say that. Are you so? Uh, let me ask give you. Give me a phone call. Give me a phone call, and I might tell you. You being serious? 
I'm being serious. Get out, take his handcuffs off, and I might tell you. Uh, I can't do it here, but at the station, I'll give you a phone call. You want to go? You want to go back and help us out at that house? I can help you. Are you willing to help us? I'm willing to help you. Are you willing to put an ankle bracelet on in order to help us? I'll put a dog chain on. Whatever. <laughs> what do you, you mean a dog? You gotta put a dog chain on. What do you mean? Just an ankle bracelet, dude. Whatever you got, I'll do it. You're gonna sign papers to work. I'll sign papers to work. Oh, yeah. But I want the guy that was with me in, in jail, too. I, we can't just go pick him back up. It, it, there's paperwork that's got to be done for it. Right now, you're under arrest. My mom's going to kill me. <laughs> what do you mean, your mom? How old are you? 20. <laughs> I'll try to help you out, brother. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to pound you, but, I mean, you you got to help me out, too. You know what I'm saying? I will help you, officer. You promise? Promise. All right, I'm going to put an ankle bracelet on you down here at the, at the, at the PD. Let's okay. see what happens with it. You're old enough to know better. Let's let's make sure we say that, right? Kilo one dispatch. Kilo one good. I'm gonna be out at uh, MRPD and show me 106 for an investigation. I'm gonna interview this guy. That's copied. Kilo one, busy 106 investigation 2014. All right, guys, let's investigate. I, I guys, I, I've never seen this guy in the city. I'm kind of I kind of want to take this pretty far. All right, brother. Uh, you had the right to remain silent. <laughs> Anything you say, Cannon, will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have one present with you while being interviewed or questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to you to represent you uh, before any questions if you wish. You can decide at any time to execute these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. All right. So here's what we got. Um, you got stopped today. Your truck's loaded. You you got a gun on you, so you got a you got a firearm attached with narcotics, correct? Correct. So that like steps it up. So not only are you going to get charged for like the the max penalty of narcotics, you're going to get charged with a weapon violation. Um, and also the truck not coming back. You got all that petty stuff that I can stack on there with it. But listen, we can offer you some assistance. Okay. If you um. If you uh, if you want to work with us, we can we can throw a, a, an ankle bracelet on you. So basically, we'll have tracks on you. You can't pull that off. We'll know you are at all times. If you don't cooperate, we'll just come pick you up. It, it's up to you at that point. So, but if you do want to cooperate, you will have to go back and and kind of we'll work something out to keep you safe. But if you're willing to go back to Mr. Michael's Tay Tay Michael's house and buy more narcotics, you'd have to do probably one or two buys for us. We can work something out with you. Um, in order to get that time cut off, cut off, you know, because I, I, I don't think you're the, I don't think you're the kingpin. I think you're just a mole, and I think you're moving the stuff for him. So if you're willing to, you, you if if you if you're willing to do this for us, we we can help you out. But you're going to have to go back to Tay Tay's house and and buy some narcotics off of him. I'll do that. Okay, so you're willing to do like multiple buys. You're willing to go in there. Do multiple buys, and then we can, you know, help you out from there. Like, but you're going to, have to probably go back in, and do one or two. We confirm his. Do you know where he lives at? Yeah, I know where he lives. I'll do anything to to get Tay Tay in trouble for after what he did to me. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> after what he did to me. So, what's going to happen is we're going to you're you, you're not getting the truck back. We're going to keep the truck for now because it's evidence. Uh, you haven't went through with your side of the deal yet. If you go through with your side and you cooperate to your best, to, to your best, we will be able to give your truck back to you. But if you don't do it, we're just going to arrest you and, and we're going to seize the truck for the departmental funds. So, um, Corey, will you get him a, the paper to sign and become an informant? I was out there that Tay Tay's doing this too. He actually had me locked up with an apple tied in my mouth for weeks. Who did? Tay Tay. Tell me what, tell me about that again. What'd you just say? So, I was dating this girl, and it was Corey T's sister. She was super hot. Okay. And uh, Corey T asked me, did I want to make some money? Because I didn't have a job at the time. So, he introduced me to Tay Tay. Okay. So, I met Tay Tay, and I guess the way he wants to see, you know, if you're going to snitch or what type of person you are, he locks you up for a week, hits you with switches and stuff. It's real weird <laughs> with a apple tied up in your mouth. Do you? So, are you tied up like you, you're restrained? Your arms are restrained? Arms and legs and everything. And he had bananas and everything. <coughs> What's... 
What's so, the bananas for? I'm not going to say that, but he had bananas and he had an apple in my mouth. As you can see, you probably know where the banana went, but he had me for a week and he finally let me go. So finally, he trusted me enough to start doing what I'm doing. I've been making a lot of money, but I don't want to see the next guy go through all this. Yeah, I completely understand. Um. Oh. Oh. So, once you. So once you got done with the bananas and the apples, did he just untie you and everything was cool? He untied me and he gave me the Ford Raptor. I didn't know it had 300 pounds of whatever it had in it, but I know I was taking it to the lake to sell it. Okay. Um. Did you get to keep the fruit? I'm sorry, that's probably inappropriate. Well, it kind of dissolved in my ass. <laughs> 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 that's the most bizarre thing i've ever heard in my life guys i had tears in my eyes like <sighs> listen i need you got you got a cell phone on you yes pour your cell phone on, give me your cell phone number you're the one good this male is going to be become an informant for us we're going to clear the call 41 with a report taken he's going to start working for us listen that's copy report when taken. i call you answer okay 20, correction 2026 hey well, hey, when I call you, answer, okay? Okay, officer. Thank you. Yeah, I'll see you in a couple days. See ya.